Teamwork is the best way to approach many things in life. And our first guests this morning are taking the team approach to cosmetic dentistry. They provide amazing results with their patients. We welcome this morning Dr. Stephen Gim, who specializes in adult cosmetic dentistry, along with Dr. Grant Coleman from Hull and Coleman Orthodontics and Dr. Eric Kerr from Charlotte Periodontics. And good morning to all three of you. Thank you so much for being good here today. Morning. Thanks, for, morning. Having Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Of course, it's great to see you again. We should mention the three of you, you are a team. You work together as a team. You're all of you are continuously nominated as the top dentists in your fields by your peers. Why do you think that team dentistry is the best approach? Well, uh, you know, we want to let um, the public know that not every patient needs the team approach in cosmetic dentistry. Mm -hmm. However, when a general dentist that provides quite a bit of cosmetic dentistry um, sees a need for a specialty to intervene and help with the final case, then we have to make that decision to help that patient receive the best results. What are the benefits for the patients from these team, this team approach? Sure. Um, I get a lot of patients where I'll send a grant and you know, they'll, uh, he'll have to move the teeth around for better positioning. Eric will uh, go ahead and take a look at the gum tissues to make sure they're in the same position. So they're lining everything up for me so I can come in and provide the final veneers or crowns so when the patient smiles, everything looks symmetrical and really beautiful. And that means you get a great result. Okay, let's take a look at one of your cases, Dr. Sure. Gim. We'll put it up on the screen right now. This is something that you took a team approach on. Talk about what we're looking at here. Um, well, this is just the uh, upper and lower front teeth. And, you know, there's just a myriad of things that what I'm looking at. And really, uh, once I saw that, I knew that uh, Dr. Coleman and Dr. Kerr would have to help me out here with some mm -hmm. uh, uh, proportions and changing uh, the shapes of the teeth, the locations and the position so I could get a better result in the end. Okay, so Dr. Coleman, what was your role in this case? So in, in this case, the lady that came in had a, a condition where her upper and lower teeth were hitting directly on top of each other. And if you look at the upper teeth, she had really damaged her teeth over time from the improper contact. And uh, Dr. Gim knew that there was no way he could restore those teeth in the position that they were in. So my job was to correct the fit of the teeth so that they would meet properly uh, so that he could then do his restorative dentistry without moving the teeth he would have had to do some pretty aggressive work on the upper and lower teeth, uh, but by moving them into the correct position, we were able to keep it much more conservative and do better and simpler work. Yeah, I bet you're glad you've got your guys here with you, right? <laughs> right? Definitely. Uh, Dr. Kerr, what about you? What was your role in this? Uh, my role was twofold. First, to establish uh, health of the gum tissue and of the supporting bone around the teeth to be able to maintain that long term, and secondarily, to provide the frame uh, in which Dr. Gim can provide the restorative dentistry, where he can pr uh, provide the crowns and the restorations and get things placed where they need to. So to establish health and then to maintain the frame of the health of the tissue around those restorations. So Dr. Gim, after they're done with their portion, that's when you can, as you mentioned earlier, do the veneers and the crowns and finish what you need to do. That's right. Initially, the three of us will go ahead and come together and we'll talk and discuss with pictures on how we'll see the final result and re really reverse engineering, reverse engineering the case. And then once they finish their job, the patient comes back to me and then that's where we'll provide the crowns or veneers or whatever we have treatment planned. Take a look at that picture right there. Yeah, how long does something like this take? I mean, what is the entire treatment process? I'm thinking months and months and months probably, right? It can take, it depends on a case by case basis. And, you know, Shirley Grant and I have uh, been doing many cases with Eric and um, 12 to 15 months, um, depending on uh, what, we're, what the patient's looking for. And as you mentioned earlier too, Dr. Gim, not every patient who comes in to see you needs this team approach. Again, it's decided on a case by case basis. Yeah, and I could send something to Grant or even Eric and uh, they could come back and say, hey, I think you could, you know, we don't need, I don't need to do this procedure once you go ahead and proceed. So I want to rule out all options before I proceed. How do you communicate with each other about this team approach and what work needs to be done? I mean, are we conference calling? How does that all work? Uh, Eric, I mean, pictures, we do a lot of pictures. Uh, email, text, phone call. Uh, a lot of uh, visualization. We've got to be able to see what we're talking about. So a lot of times getting together in person is the best way to communicate, mm -hmm. but we use every mode available to be able to communicate effectively. If we can take a look at that final result one more time, if we can put that picture back up on the screen, you can see it really does make a huge difference when they take this team approach. Nicely done, Thank gentlemen. Good job. Good work that you're doing.
thank you so much. We're glad that you're all here today. Thanks, Thanks for having us. Thanks for having us. Well, to learn more, call Dr. Stephen Gim at 704-935-2700. Again, 704-935-2700. Or visit his website. It's drstephengim.com. Note the spelling on your screen, drstephengim.com. He has a lovely office in the Blakeney area. I've been there a few times. Great to see you all. Thanks for being Thanks here. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. All right.